Roblox Doors is just one of those games that is known as a scary game and can give you the creeps in the moments that you least expect it. But did you know that there are actually many satisfying things within Doors that many people never really thought about? Well, these are the most satisfying things about Roblox Doors. What are you most satisfied with? Comment down below and you better like and subscribe, especially if you want that update very soon. Also, I gotta give a quick shout out to Potomer for the video idea, but let's go see how Doors can be so satisfying, shall we? Number 1. The Bell of course, we had to start with one of the most obvious, and that is the lone bell that is chilling right within the reception desk of room zero. Just touching on this bell will ring, and for many, it does give off a satisfying sound that echoes within the room. Some people have even said it offers good luck to players if you use this before your runs, though the theory is currently unconfirmed. It is unfortunate that the bell will end up breaking if you spam it too many times, just playing a broken sound than what it was once before, but the bell is definitely a satisfying item that many do often forget nowadays within the game. Number 2, The Fireplace Tell me, who doesn't like a nice warm fire even if it's inside a game? Just hearing the crackling and popping from the fire can ease and calm players as it's very satisfying to listen to it for hours on end. There's even a fireplace right within the loading lobby that offers two chairs and in most servers you can find many players chilling here and vibing out as they're waiting for their friends to join into more matches. Well, the fireplace is a huge reason for that, don't you think? It can be unsatisfying as well, especially when entities like Rush or Ambush run through, they will put the fire out, causing the mood of the room to go from warm and cozy to cold and miserable. I guess it's a short price to pay, especially when dealing with these entities. Number 3, The Rain. Yeah, who knew such a simple natural event such as rain and wind could be so calming and satisfying within a horror game? But that is true. Throughout doors, you'll notice the storm rages on through the windows and even from outside the doors within the loading lobby room as well, which is a unique angle to see from. Not only does the natural event add to the horror feeling the game provides, but it also adds a nice touch of background sounds that soothes players as they make their runs through the hotel. Also, whenever you run into a jack red room, the rain does turn red, which just just looks wicked cool, though it only lasts for a little while. Number 4, the type whiter. Yet again, another small little gimmick that Doors didn't have to add was this typewriter found within some of the bedrooms in the game, but they still did it anyway. The most satisfying thing with the typewriter is how you can actually interact with the object and it will make a short clicking sound which can be music to players ears, especially if they like the sounds of mechanical keyboards most often found on gaming versions. Unlike the bell, the typewriter never never really breaks, so you could technically use it forever if you'd like. It's just a nice small feature that the game didn't even need to add, but it just adds to the whole theme of the game. Number 5, Mini Globe. No, we're not talking about your grandparents old squeaky globe, we're talking about the mini globe in game that can also be found within certain rooms of doors. Shockingly, many don't know, but you can actually interact with this globe as well and spin it around, which for some players can be super satisfying just hearing the spinning motion of the object. Some minor squeaking, but it's nothing too major. A cool game that you could play is to spin the globe and see where your cursor lands on. Maybe it could land near somewhere you've been to or have heard of, which is neat. Number 6, The Courtyard Well, duh! The developers have decided to make one room within the game so unique 
that it honestly breaks the scales. Combined with the downpour of rain that can be heard right above the players' heads, instead of just sounds, the courtyard also looks visually appealing with the dedicated fence and roof structure leading from room to room, the carefully plotted trees along the walkways, and also the strange looking statue which oversees the entire plot of land as well. If the courtyard isn't one of the most satisfying rooms within the whole game, then I don't know what is. Number 7 Office Rooms There's just something about these specific office rooms that makes things so satisfying. From the sound of opening the double doors, to the before mentioned typewriter sitting on the smaller drawer, to even opening the compartment itself revealing a 100% chance at an item, it's one of the best rooms designed for the players to help them get through the hotel. It just goes to show you that even the smallest of sounds can make things that much more satisfying than the rest. Number 8 The Sparkles even if you end up getting stuck inside a dark room, you know the guiding light always has your back as they not only light up the way, but players can hear a very satisfying sparkle sound as well. You can definitely hear this even in the library as the entity helps you out with finding books and even keys within some of those maze rooms as well. Not only is it a very useful sound, but it's also calm and honestly super satisfying as well and it lets you know that the guiding light will never let you down or desert you. Number 9 The Vent Ah yes, quite a sus location if you ask me, but the vent can actually be considered as one of the most satisfying areas within any room indoors. For one, it provides protection from entities such as rush and ambush, and two, it just sounds so nice when you kick open the latch to the vent as well. It's a win-win situation. Number 10, The Ending Sounds cliche, I know, but the ending cutscene that rolls when players win the game, especially when Figure tries to capture you one last time but fails, is just the most satisfying thing within the whole entire game. Quite literally, the entity throws its whole entire body right on top of the elevator just in order to bust through, and that probably must have hurt the entity quite a bit, just saying. Now, who knows what will come in this next update for Doors. Hopefully they add in even more satisfying content, which I'm sure they will. But what was the most satisfying thing for you? Let us know down below and goodbye.